Since 2006, America's Got Talent, popularly known as AGT, has crowned champions and awarded them a million dollars because it isn't limited to solely singing acts and has no age limit. It has attracted a diverse range of performers over the years. So far, three youngsters, three ventriloquists, two magicians, one dog trick act, and a slew of singers have departed the show victorious in the last 13 seasons. Some have gone on to enormous success and become household names, while others have remained relatively unknown since their victories. We're counting down the top 10 most successful America's Got Talent contestants today. We'll look at 10 of the most successful performers who have appeared on America's Got Talent for this list. We'll define success in terms of career trajectory and mainstream popularity for this list. They also don't have to be winners. Any participant from America's Got Talent who is now famous is eligible. Before getting started, please take a moment and hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified about our next video. Number 10. The Texas Tenors The Texas Tenors are a classical crossover group who got to fourth place on America's Got Talent, Season 4. They've since published five studio albums and three live albums, the most recent of which being a collection of Broadway and American classics, which debuted at number one on the Billboard Classical Chart. But it was in 2013 and they co-produced a PBS show with the Phoenix Symphony called You Should Dream that they achieved their greatest triumph. The quartet performed with the orchestra in the program, which received critical acclaim and three Emmy nominations. The Texas Tenors are a remarkable success story, from Houston to AGT to Emmys. Number 9. Michael Grimm Due to the number of music-themed reality shows, some argue that musicians should not be permitted on America's Got Talent. But we can't grumble too much when we have people like Michael Grimm. Grimm never garnered any notice or recognition despite years of performing in Vegas before applying for AGT. Everything changed when he won the fifth season with a soaring rendition of When a Man Loves a Woman. Everything changed. Grimm has married, performed at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, and released three studio albums since winning the program, including an eponymously titled album that debuted at number 13 on the Billboard. Number 8. Jabberwockies The Jabberwockies are a hip-hop freestyle dancing crew that debuted in Season 2 for a brief appearance. Despite impressing the judges with their audition, they were cut after the Vegas round, ensuring they would be forgotten forever. They were not, though, and instead won America's Best Dance Crew the following year. The Jabberwockies headlined their own Vegas production, Mew SIC, after starring on different reality and chat shows. They were the first dance team to headline a Vegas show. They've subsequently headlined two more shows at the Luxor and MGM Grand, PRISM and JREAMZ, respectively. Trying, but I'm Number 7. Grace Wonderwall Grace Wonderwall became a national celebrity thanks to her ukulele abilities and unique voice. Her golden buzzer audition went viral instantly, but that was only the beginning. She went on to win the competition and her debut studio album, Just the Beginning, was published in 2017. She went on to open for Imagine Dragons during the summer leg of their Evolve World Tour after touring the album. Grace will shortly be starring as Stargirl Caraway in the upcoming Disney Plus original film, Stargirl. We could be on the verge of discovering the next major child star with this entry. It's just what you've always wanted. Whoa! Hundreds of teddy bears! That, that's, that's exactly what I wanted! <laughs> Number 6. Matt Franco Throughout Season 9, Franco was an unstoppable force and he went on to become the first magician to win the competition. And everything in his life changed in an instant. 
A year later, he was headlining his show, Magic Reinvented Nightly, in Vegas, which was hailed as the best magic performance in town. The Link Hotel and Casino has now renamed its theater after Franco, and his performances continue to sell out. Making magic your full-time job is highly challenging, and standing out in the magic world of Vegas is even more difficult. Matt has managed to pull it off in spectacular fashion. Number 5. Melissa Velasse Melissa Velasior is an impressionist and comedian who began her career in Los Angeles before making her debut at the Just for Laughs Festival in Montreal 2010. She made it to the semi-finals of AGT's sixth season a year later, eventually losing to jazz vocalist Landa Morphy Jr. Fortunately, her act was excellent enough to get her noticed and she scored a spot on Saturday Night Live doing a Sarah Silverman impression. Her wit and charisma were so highly received that she was promoted to a repertory character for season 44. That's impressive, considering the majority of comedians burn out only after a few shows. With the she looks, come on, I'm a hit. You know, I'm positive the lady we came here with likes me. Number 4. Darcy Lynn Farmer Darcy Lynn Farmer's lucky number appears to be 3. She was the competition's third female winner, following Bianca Ryan and Grace Wonderwall, the competition's third youth winner, and surprise, surprise, she is the third ventriloquist to win, following Terry Fater and Paul Zerden. Since winning the competition, Farmer has gone on a year-long tour called Darcy Lynn and Friends Live and hosted Darcy Lynn My Hometown Christmas on NBC and has since done multiple tours. She's certainly keeping herself busy and we're thrilled to see her so content and accomplished. Number 3. Lindsay Sterling Lindsay Sterling, everyone's favorite violinist, made an unexpected appearance in Season 5 to mixed reviews. While the judge praised her distinct voice, they were less enthusiastic about her dancing and marketability. Piers Morgan even told Lindsay she wasn't talented enough to play and dance at the same time. Lindsay, of course, rejected the criticism and remained faithful to herself and her particular style of art. Her fusion of music and dancing has earned her acclaim, and she is now one of YouTube's most successful musicians, with over 2 billion views and 11 million subscribers. She recently co-headlined the Synthesis Tour with Evanescence demonstrating that her influence extends well beyond YouTube. Take that, Piers Morgan. Number 2. Jackie Ivanko Jackie Ivanko demonstrates that you don't have to come in the first place to be successful. Despite positive reviews, Jackie was defeated by Michael Grimm in Season 5. Although she went on to have a more successful musical career, Jackie became the youngest solo artist to debut in the top 10 and the youngest to go platinum with her debut EP, Oh Holy Night, which debuted at number 2. With her album, Dream With Me, she continued her hot streak, becoming the youngest to debut in the UK Top 5. To top it all, her album, Two Hearts, debuted at number 1 on the Billboard Classical Chart for the seventh time in a row. Just thinking about you. Terry Fater Number 1 Terry Fater's success story is fascinating. In the late 1980s, he was the lead singer of an unsigned band. And when he realized he could combine singing and ventriloquism, he went for it. At first, he received mixed results. One time, in a 1,000-seat arena, he sold only one ticket. This setback demoralized him. But after receiving encouragement from his family, Fator auditioned for AGT and it totally changed his life. Terry signed a five-year, $100 million contract with the Mirage in 2008. And the theater was promptly renamed after him. He also celebrated his 1,000th concert in Vegas in 2013. He's come a long way, and we've all enjoyed accompanying him on his journey. We hope that you liked today's video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and press the bell notification. 
If you want us to make more videos like this, tell us in the comment section. Also tell us who were your favorite performers from today's list. Did we miss out on any of your beloved performers? Do let us know. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Ciao.